you also got a photo browser for your pictures. Just run you very quickly through the other applications supplied on here. Beeb Anywhere is a downloader of news from the BBC. Beeb Player is basically the iPlayer. Buzzbox is also a newsfeed uh, newspaper article aggregator. You've got your camera application. Documents to go for reading and authoring Office 2007 documents an email application for non-gmail accounts Facebook application MSN client, Google Talk client Google Maps, Gmail, all very obvious TubeDroid is a program that allows you to download YouTube content both as video and as audio only for replaying later on your device which allows you to replay YouTube videos full screen your YouTube client, Skype client, and a Twitter client. A little guide to web browsing. If you need to get to the address bar of the page you're on, choose Menu and Go. If you need to open a new window, you've got the New Window button also on the menu bar there. And once you've got more than one window open, that changes to Windows, which allows you to switch between the active windows. Certain web pages will recognize Android as a mobile device and present you with the mobile version of their website. While some websites will allow you to go to their main websites, others will not. In order to get around this, you could try installing a different browser such as Skyfire. So we're going to install Skyfire from the Android market. In addition to the built-in Chrome browser and Skyfire, there is also Opera Mini and another browser called Dolphin. All of these are free, available on the Android market and being upgraded frequently so you can try them out and see which one you prefer. We'll take a quick look at the Skyfire browser. A good example of which is the BBC homepage, which loads as it would do on a computer rather than seeing this device as a mobile device. We can change that behavior from the program's menu bar. From here you can choose how websites see the device, either specifically as an Android mobile device, specifically as a desktop computer, or a default setting.
that was the page how we saw it using the inbuilt Chrome browser. Also from the menu bar you can access multiple windows, multiple open tabs. The performance generally of the Skyfire browser is a little slower than the inbuilt Chrome browser, but then you have got the benefit of a much richer web experience. So for example, here's a YouTube page. Skyfire also handles flash video a little better. Although it won't play it in line, it recognizes instantly that there is flash video in the content of the page and gives you the option to play that. So you get much richer YouTube content playing full screen on the device than you would through the YouTube client. To show you another way of accessing YouTube content, we've put on the device a program called TubeDroid. TubeDroid allows you to search for videos on YouTube. and download them to your device either as an mp4 for video or solely as the mp3 for audio. Then you can play them back later when you're not connected to the internet. So we can choose to open this video with the YouTube client, the Skyfire client, TubeJoid downloading as audio only or TubeJoid downloading as video only. If we download this as a video and the download notification appears in the notification area. If we go into the video player, it will show the avatar trailer that we just downloaded. It saves that to your SD card. Unlike the stock ROM for this device, our custom software will play games full screen.